Hi everybody, it's Diana with Stamping with Di. Welcome to my YouTube channel and this week's Mimeograph Monday with a twist. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Diana and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm in Santan Valley, Arizona. So I want to welcome you to my channel. If you are new, I would love for you to subscribe and that helps me so much. And I am in the chat room. So during the um, live premiere, that's where I'll be. So if you have any questions, head on over there and, um, and I can help you out. If you're watching the replay, then uh, leave a comment below. YouTube will let me know and I can reach out to you. All right, so today um, I will be doing a few projects. I'm gonna be um, doing um, what I call Mimeograph Monday with a twist. So I'm gonna be doing a card out of the catalog and then I'm gonna do a twist. But this is this is a quick card, so I'm gonna do a few twists um, because this is using the Memory and More packs and those cards are so fun and quick to make. And this is the, um, the reindeer, reindeer set. And especially when you're doing Christmas cards, um, you want them to be cute and quick, right? Um, there might be that odd one that you really um, take a lot of time, though, that those special people on your list that really appreciate, you know, the handmade cards. Um, but sometimes, you know, you have people that just love to hear from you, but they're, they, even though they love your cards, they are, maybe they just appreciate hearing from you and seeing a card, but they're not maybe the people that like, Oh my gosh, you know, and then they look at that card and they keep the card. So um, these are, are fun for that. Um, so yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. I also, um, I have um, Country Dozen Rewards coming up. So I'm going to double those. So I'll explain that. Um, and I can't remember what else I have on my desk to share with you. All right, so close your eyes just for a second while I spin the camera. Okay, so hold on. This is what I'm talking about. So I have Country Dozen Rewards, and you can get this. I have other stuff here. All right. You can uh, get this chart on my blog, and my blog is over here. And what this is is when you order 50 before tax and shipping in a single order, you earn a sunflower. So usually um, every 50, you know, you get a sunflower. Boop, 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 boop. And then when you get a dozen, you pick $40 in free. And But um, I'm going to be gone to see my family in Canada for a while. So I'm going to run double points. And what this means from October the 15th to October the 26th, when you order 50 before tax and shipping in a single order, you're going to get two sunflowers. So you're going to fill this chart up a lot faster than normal. And um, so, yeah, so that's what that's all about. So I have um, double report, double reward points, October the 15th to the 26th. Um, don't forget about my November class in the mail kit. I am almost sold out. So if you... Um, or watching the replay, I might already be sold out for that um, because registration closes on the 15th unless I close out before them. All right, and it's super cute um, Christmas friends bundles. So you get the stamp set and the coordinating die, and these little critters are so cute. I mean, I think my favorite one is the little bear. He just is so adorable. But being Canadian, um, I love the little moose too. All right. So let's see here. What else is going on? The starter kit, I'm just reminding you if you want to join my team. Um, it's one, you can pick 155 because they've added 30 more dollars right now. And it's 99 in tax. The shipping is free. So I think, I think, I think that is all I had on there. All right. So let me get my stuff here. Excuse my arm. All right, so this is from the mini catalog, the September to December 2024 mini catalog. And I apologize for my crazy nail polish. <laughs> um, I want to wait till the very last minute to do my nails. So they um, are looking pretty ratty right now. Um, so I'm going to do this card right here for my Mimeograph Monday with a twist. And then I'm just going to play with the Reindeer Days Memories 
and more pack um, and just do some other cards because it is it's such a fun little little pack of cards all right so let's get to that now this also uses the assorted memories and more cards and envelopes you see i pulled them all out but i didn't want to throw this away so this is um so you have big and small cards with envelopes they're already scored and what what is so cool about them is they go with the memories and more cards because you have let's see here you have the little envelope so you have like the baby card and see it's already scored you can see that score there and you can simply plop that right on there and your card is all ready to go those are so fun but we also have big ones and these are like four by six when you score them i mean when you fold them and there's a score on there too it's kind of hard to see but there is a score on there and these work with the big cards so same thing you can just plop this on here right in the inside of the card merry christmas and all that kind of stuff and you are good to go now they do have um you know they're two-sided so you can do whatever you want they also have um stickers that come with these with some greetings and stuff so i just have those off to the side but if you haven't um done the memories and more usually i don't grab them except the christmas ones because christmas is, just seems to be that time that no matter how early i start making my cards i ended up i end up a lot of times sending those cards as thank you notes or whatever and then i don't have them for christmas so the i usually grab these just so that i can get some christmas cards out all right so i have my big card and i had just folded it and scored it there just fold on the score and then so this one's pretty simple so this is just going to get glued onto there I'm trying to use up my seal plus I usually um, use just a regular seal but I have that one open and I kind of want to just get it used up so I can get off my desk all right seal plus is very very strong all right so look how cute that paper is and then we have our winter blessings now the winter blessings one has some ribbon on it and this is the cherry cobbler in gold um it just says cherry cobbler in gold but it is the satin ribbon right there all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a fake bow now i don't know if that's how they did it but that's how i'm going to do it so i'm going to get my scissors and I'm just going to cut that. And then I'm going to get my glue dots. I close that. Lost the inside of my glue dot. All right, there we go. So I'm going to put a glue dot on each end of my ribbon. And this is really pretty dainty ribbon. It's not got a lot of thickness to it. Hasn't got a lot of um, weight to it. So it's perfect so especially if you're making a whole bunch of christmas cards you don't want them all to take an extra postage stamp all right so i'm just glue dotting that on the back and i am going to take a little bit of scotch tape just in case because i am going to go back and i'm going to tie a bow on here so that means i'm going to be tugging on it a little bit all right, so I want, I'm going to put this on with dimensionals. Okay. I'm going to put this on first. And that way it's got the heft of the card to keep this um, little card from bowing as I tie my ribbon on it. Okay, and then this is kind of cockeyed on the card okay 
All right. And then right from the spool, so you don't waste any this way. I mean, you might waste a, t a little bit, but not like if you just, um, you know, guessed or whatever. All right. So now I'm just going to do my little bow. I want to give myself a little more room. Tie my bow. Then I'm just going to, just like I'm tying my shoes, and I find I have a little more control if I tie it upside down. Loop-de-loo. And then before you tighten your, your bunny ears or whatever, your things, just kind of make these loops or these tails lay where you want them to lay and then i can pull this and get it a little more to the size i want and i think i think like that and we're just going to trim and trim and this is all i wasted by doing it that way and then i can fiddle fart with this a little bit later I think I made my bow just a little bit too big because I don't want it in the way of my greeting. And what's fun about the, the fake bow, if it is in the way, I can just slide it over here so it's out of the way more. So I still need to um, mess with it. But anyway, so look how cute and simple that was. So now I'm going to play and I'm going to make some more with um, these cards. All right, so that was the catalog version. So now I have some other pieces that I have just kind of pulled out. So I'm going to do the same background. And so see, it has that score and I just kind of go like this because it's not, they're not scored as deep as like I score so I'm just trying to line my thingy up so I just you know line my edges up and then I take my bone folder because when I score I, I give it a little more like you know all right so I'm gonna put this again let me get my Seal. I just use the seal plus so gently. All right. I'm going to put this on here. Like that. And then we have this cute little tree. Now we also have little presents and things. So see this? We've got some presents. So let's put some presents under our tree. So we have this. Now these have sticky on the back, but I want them to, um, I want to use dimension or not, yeah, dimensionals on them. So I'm going to use my, um, this comes with the embossing kit and it's just the little embossing buddy. And I'm just going to put this on here. And what this is going to do is it's going to put a little bit of powder on that. So it's just going to take that stickiness off. You can put it on your pants too, you know. All right, one, two. And maybe this one. I'm just because I want them to sit up a little bit off the card. Okay. And then this is a mess. So we're just gonna blow that powder everywhere. All right, so now my presents are not sticky. And I'm just gonna put them underneath my tree. So let's see here. We can have this one here, this one, and maybe this one. Okay. 
So I'm just going to use my dimensionals. And I'm just going to put the dimensional in the in the center so I can kind of stagger them a little bit if I want them to go over top. Okay, so we've got this little present. This one and this one. They're kind of staggered, right? It's so cute. All right, so let's see what else we have in our stickers. So we also have um, Holly. We also have Family, Merry, Merry. Christmas is better together yes I think I'm gonna do that so I have my Christmas is better together and I'm just gonna pick up some of this powder off my desk <laughs> that made a mess and that's taking some of that stickiness off that's a way to clean up your desk isn't it all right it's still a little tacky but there we go so i'm gonna go christmas is better together and i'm just gonna stick that right there just like that and look how cute that is and this would be cute on a little card, right? You wouldn't have to put it on the big one, but I'm going to put it on the big one. And I'm just going to put it right in the center. Like that. And I'm going to put it on dimensionals as well. Look at the cute little reindeer on the back. Okay, and so I've already got two Christmas cards done. And the little cards are great for um, presents, right? Just a little card that you can put on a present. But look how cute this one is. And then, of course, you know, you can write your little note on the inside. We could put some bling. All right, so let's see what else we have over here. We also have... Another one of the big cards. And this time, I went and got some of the Reindeer DSP. Because this Memories and More pack goes with, it coordinates with a stamp set and designer series paper. All right, so I grabbed this paper. Look how cute this paper is. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to put it here. I just cut it four to four by six. And then I have my warm wishes. So where is my warm wishes? So we have warm wishes. So see, there's a few different little deers. They're the winter blessing that we used already. So I'm going to use the warm wishes. And I'm going to stick it on here, but I want to put a little something between this card and this card. And it's going to be the pom-pom ribbon. So I'm going to take my card. And I'm just going to carefully put some seal on there. And I'm going to lay the pom-pom ribbon right underneath and then we're just going to trim and trim and now you have this cute little bit of pom-pom ribbon under there and then let's see can i put some on the top too i think i can i think i can i think i can all right so i'm just going to 
keep adding my seal and then I have to go over the ribbon just a little bit. Okay. And then just lay that right on there. Okay. And trim. And I'll put a little green tip. Put a little bit of green tip there. Hold that. Oh, that's a lot. It was a lot of glue. Then we'll do our seal again. Down here. I just have an issue with it sticking to the um, the ribbon. All right. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm actually going to trim this a little bit. I want that pom-pom to be right on the edge. Go. Okay. And then trim. And I'll put some more green tip on that one as well. I'm going to wait till this sets up just a tad. And then I'll trim that ribbon. And the last. Let's see how this is. I'm going to let that one be out just a little bit. Hold that back. I can see a little bit of my seal. I'll fold it back under the card. There we go. Look how cute. Isn't that fun with that pom-pom ribbon? All right. We trim, and then I'll just put that green tip again just to hold my, and I don't think it's going to go anywhere because I'm going to put some dimensionals, so it's not really going to go anywhere. Okay. Well, that's sitting up a little bit. Let's bring this over. So here we have this cute, and this would be adorable just like this, right? Like even if you didn't put anything on, on top of it. All right, so where's my regular seal? Okay, but this is some cute, cute paper. So fun. All right, so let's bring our cute little, oops, that's our own one. That's one I played with earlier. Here we go. So this is the one. I've got my um, ribbon on the back. So I need to trim this one just a little bit. Overhanging just a tad. Here we go. Yeah, so isn't that so cute? They're like little little snowballs on there. All right, so I'm going to put dimensionals. I'll just push them on pretty good because you've got those pom-poms there. This one is so fun. Oh my gosh. I'm 
dimensional backings for days. Bring this over. And then, so do I put it on straight or do I do it kind of cockeyed? I think I want to put it on cockeyed maybe because I because then I think that it will um, kind of dis distract a little bit from the background. So, but look how fun. Oh my gosh, I love the little pom-poms there. So that one's cute. All right, my phone's making noises. Who knows what it's doing? All right, so let's see here. We also have another big one. I think I told you that Jeff and I had to get new phones. So we're still trying to figure these ones out in regards to what this noise is and what that noise is. And so we, we're finally figuring out um, how to customize it. All right, so this is the um, same reindeer paper, but I'm going to use the other side of it. So I want to use these really cute holly berries. And we have this little Merry Christmas. And doesn't that look really fun? You've got like little baby hollies, and then you've got the big hollies on the Merry Christmas. So I think this looks super cute. Now I could back this with some red, which would, um, you know, make it pop a little bit. But I want to keep these cards not super hard or not super full, right? Heavy because, you know, they're, they're Christmas. All right. So, and look what's funny is on the back, we have that same paper. All right. So I'm going to put this on with dimensionals, but I'm going to use my fine tip glue pen and I'm going to make my berries shine it's on and it's the same as this the fine tip glue pen i just put it into the, the little um the different little bottle all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put some on my berries and so this is like i said just like when we used to have crystal effects because I never use this as a glue. I just use it as like a crystal effects. And then once it's dry, your berries will be nice and shiny. But you have to let it sit, right? Like if I touch it now, remember it is a glue. So I'm just going to set it over here and hopefully I don't it that it's wet <laughs> all right so let's see all right so i'm going to do a little card as well so we have the little tiny ones in there as well and then this is just the back of believe in the magic but i loved this little pattern and i'm gonna do I think I want to do this little tree. So here is it can be anything, but the little tree is so cute. I think I'm going to use the little little tree, and maybe I'll put it on the side. Okay, I think I'm going to put it on the side. I need my little puff puff thing. Thought I was done with it. All right, so I'm going to do my little embossing buddy. 
this. I think I'm going to put my tree here. And what else do I want? Maybe this little deer. Ah, oh, yes, look how cute she is laying with the tree. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing with her. I'm just going to, so this will also let me lay it on the card without it sticking while I figure out my placement. But I like that. Her and the baby. What else do we want? There's a cute Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas might be good. Also, that Better Together is cute. Holiday cheer. For you, Merry Merry. So many choices. Oh my gosh. All right, I think I'm going to do the Merry Christmas. Yeah, that looks cute, right? Okay, so let me bring my card over. It's like so many choices. And sometimes that's good. Sometimes it's like, oh my gosh, too many choices. All right. But I kind of like I'm making it long instead of tall. But the design can be either way. But I'm going to do it this way. So I'm going to put dimensionals on everything. But this would be a cute little card, you know, to put on a present or to keep. I'm sure I can't see my blue dot or my dimensional or um, make some little ones and keep in your purse and then if you you know give a a, um, a tip to somebody you can give them a little card to go with it all right so here is the cute little tree look how fun all right and then we're going to put mama and baby deer in front and I just basically could just kind of pushed her till um, her little dimensional you know kind of went snug up against the tree and then we have our little Merry Christmas I love this font here it reminds me a lot of that um, Christmas show with the the um, a Christmas Carol, it kind of gives me that that was vibes because that was what that you'll shoot your eye out, you know. All right, one, two, three. Let's see, do I want to put anything else? We have candy canes. I don't want to put too much. I already used the presents, so I think I'm good. The little um, the bird is cute. Let's see, do I want to put the little bird? In the tree maybe not I'll save the little bird for another card since I got the mama in the baby I think I just like it like that and you could do the same thing with that green tip glue so we could do the little these little guys too so we're gonna just put little dots and then these little lights will be shiny. And maybe on there too. So cute. So cute. All right. So I think that's all I had pulled out. Let me just see. Because I had just pulled some cards out to make. And I think that I think that's all of them. All right. So let me show you um, what I did with my crazy stuff everywhere. Now, i got to remember that these little guys have that um, fine tip glue on there. So they're still drying. 
All right, so this one's drying as well, but you can see that those are going to be super pretty. And this one's drying. So this was the catalog version. And then I just made some, you know, little fun ones. So I don't know which is my favorite. I, I, I really like the tree. That is such a pretty, pretty tree. And then this one is basically, um, you know, really similar to that tree. Um, it's just a little smaller. So it could be identical. It's just smaller. But um, so I'm just going to set these and let them lay flat so that the um, fine tip glue can dry. All right, so let me say see you later, alligator. Oh, my. All right, so, yeah, so hopefully um, you can grab um, the memories and more and just play with them. They're just fun because sometimes you just want to craft without having to think, right? And, um, and these are fun because you can just you know, have fun with them. You can do um, so much with them because like right here, you've got this one. It has the believe in the magic and that's where I got this from. You can cut out, you know, maybe you want that saying, just cut it out, put it on a card. I mean, there's, there's no um, saying you can't, you know, you can't do that. So anyways, all right, so I'm going to um, say see you later, alligator. I will see you tomorrow for my Teach Me Tuesdays, episode 240, I believe. And that will be at 3 o'clock, Arizona time. And I think it is 40. Oh, yes. And that will be 3 o'clock, Arizona time, same time, same channel. And um, I will be... Will I be in the chat room tomorrow? Yes, I will be. Um, but I leave really, really early Wednesday morning um, for Canada. And then I'll be gone like for 10 days. And then that's when I'll have my um, double reward points. So I will be able, um, if you need to reach me, just, you know, I have my phone. I'll have my email. I don't know how much I will be on um, doing the videos and stuff just because um, I have a lot of people to see, a lot of family. Uh, and we're kind of like like um spaced out you know like far away from each other so um so i don't want to uh, promise that i will be doing a video if i if i can't um keep that promise so i'll just kind of um do what i can but i will try to pop in even if i don't um pre-tape some stuff uh, maybe i'll pop in um during the week and let you know what's going on so all right, so thank you so much for joining me. And like I said, I will see you tomorrow, uh, 3 o'clock, Arizona time. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye for now.